Hey guys, welcome to Psych Discussions. My name is Donna. And I'm Kia. For those of you who don't know, this is the show where I get human-like behavior articles and discuss them. They could either be credible or they might not be. So let's get started. Today's article is why it's hard to shake a first bad impression. Have you ever had like a first bad impression? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Do I have to describe it? <laughs> yeah, so I asked you. So one time I didn't, my mom introduced me to this guy, right? Because she's like, oh, you are the same age, blah, blah, blah. And like, okay. we shook hands and stuff. And then the first thing he said to me was, do you play Pokemon Go? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And I felt really awkward. I'm like, no. And then we sat there in silence. <laughs> you made a first bad impression on him. Oh! Okay, so this is a study. A new study shows that shaking a bad first impression is difficult. In an online experiment, 200 female participants read a scenario about an office worker named Barbara. Average office worker, most of her behavior towards her colleagues was inoffensive. She was occasionally nice, but there are times where she's kind of a jerk. You know, like cutting in line or spreading gossip. They were told Barbara's behavior improved after a week. Then, participants were asked whether or not they were convinced this person's moral character officially improved. So after a week, would you be convinced that Barbara's character improved, like officially improved? It depends on Barbara. <laughs> she didn't improve per se, she just made it better. Say she improves another two weeks, so it's two weeks now and she's still improved. Improve, she improved even more? She keeps up this good behavior. Do you think now she's officially improved? I guess. I mean, she's more comfortable with people then. So another group of people were asked something similar except Barbara started off as a good worker and her behavior slowly declined after a few weeks. So, mm. results show when Barbara's behavior improved, it took longer for participants to be convinced of her improvement, aka you. But mm -hmm. when her behavior declined, participants were quicker to attach that to her moral character. Mm. Makes sense. You get it. So basically, if you meet someone and you start off really horribly, and you start improving, people are gonna be People are going to be skeptical of your improvement if you start improving. But if it's the other way around and you start good and then you do something terrible, people are going to be quick to judge you faster and say you're a terrible person. So that Pokemon Go guy, <laughs> what do you think of him now? Over time, well, we didn't really get to bond as much. So you're not We're friends. What? We're not friends. <laughs> so this article is true. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you guys next time. Someone in high school, they told me, cause like they're like left-handed, so they're like, oh, left-handed people are like from the devil. Everything was biased against them.